Let's go to a matchup in the WAC between New Mexico State and Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon laying seven in this one tonight at seven local time, nine Eastern time. 143 is our total. Mid-major Matt's got a third official play. So what stands out about this game tonight? You have you have had a side, you have had a total. What do we have here? Uh, first off, you have to watch Grand Canyon games on TV, especially at home. Their play-by-play -play guy goes nuts over every play, and their their analyst is great too. I believe it's Scott Williams. He's awesome. Uh, it's a great broadcast crew. Plus, there's this weird vibe at Grand Canyon games. Like it's just a, an internal party. Um, so if you get a chance tonight, go find this game on ESPN Plus. I'm sure Matt's seen this and, and can agree yeah. with this. And, He's awesome. And by the way, Bryce Drew is the coach, and it was two years ago that they made the run and they got in the NCAA tournament. So they're a little noteworthy for those reasons, guys. Yes. Uh, but with regards to this game, by the way, Grand Canyon's gone over in 14 straight games. I think it's a streak that's kind of gone under the radar here. Wait a minute. I, I originally, Wait a minute. Say that again. Say that Grand, again. They Grand Canyon has gone over 14 straight games, the total. <laughs> Not the team, the game total. So they've been in okay. this nice little stretch. And the thing is, you look at their numbers, you're like, okay, they play really slowly. They have decent um, defensive numbers. But their offense has been really good at home. You look at what they're coming off of, an 86-83 game against Stephen F. Austin. So they've scored 86, 74, 89, 80, um, in their la and 73 at home in conference. Um, so it's an offense that's really efficient. They, they also get to the free throw line. Um, and then you look at New Mexico State. They play really fast. Their defense is really bad. Um, they foul a lot. Their last three road games, they've given up 77, 89, and 111. Um, I originally looked at the game over, but I was concerned about New Mexico Mexico State's offense here doing its part, so I decided to do what we've talked about in the show and just take care of one side of things. I'm looking at Grand Canyon's team total over. I think they've got matchup advantages, and I think they'll live at the free throw line tonight, and it's just given me another reason to watch this game tonight because I love watching Grand Canyon games. All right, interesting. Again, the total is 143, but you're interested in the team total for Grand Canyon. Matty Cox, any thoughts? New Mexico State Aggies have also been in the NCAA tournament recently, but they're not good this year uh, Jerome Tang right was the coach left and took the Kansas State job big win for Kansas State over TCU last night by the way so New Mexico State comes in two and nine in the whack at Grand Canyon any thought Matty Cox if no official play real quick yeah it's crazy that this team has gone uh, over as frequently as they have given that they've been without their starting point guard Javon Blackshear for so long and they're being led by a uh, you know Ray Harrison, who comes from Presbyterian, who played at one of the slowest tempos in the country, which kind of aligns with you know Bryce Drew's preferred tempo, but as been Major Matt alluded to, even though that's where the you know the total skews, it seems like the market has been over indexing toward the under, thus kind of helping a lot of these games go over the total. Um, also playing in the whack, these games, as we talked about before, a lot of free throw shooting contests. Um, the free throw rate is up this season across the board. I think that it has buoyed the overs. Uh, in addition to this, the general efficiency bump we've seen across the board, better shot making, poor defense, whatever it is. Um, so, yeah, very interesting dynamic there. I'm kind of shocked that it's been 14 straight and still running. Interesting. Just looking at Grand Canyon's resume, they've been win one, lose one, win one, lose one for about four weeks now. Uh, they come off a win against Stephen F. Austin. That was at home on the weekend. They're now playing New Mexico State tonight. And mid-major Matt is only concerned with Grand Canyon scoring, scoring, and scoring some more. Get them over the total of 75 points in this game tonight with New Mexico State.